Hey everybody, it's Bill in Alaska. Welcome back to my channel. On day 255 since I started Carnivore, I uh, I cannot believe it's been over eight months already, just over eight months already. Uh, it's so strange. On one hand, it feels like the time just flew by. And on the other, it just seems like it's been forever. <laughs> it's, it's funny how it works like that. Um, but yeah, just over eight months on the carnivore diet. For those of you new to the channel, uh, eight months ago, I was 700 pounds, bedridden, on the precipice of death, literally. Uh, so many health problems. And fast forward eight months um, on the carnivore diet, and I've lost over 200 pounds. And uh, it's just been an incredible ride. I like the title of the video says, uh, losing a lot of weight quickly can be a bumpy road. And I found out that's true. And then uh, I'm sure people in my situation can uh, understand, uh, empathize. Um, you know, I've done a little bit of research the last few days. I've been researching it off, off and on the last few months, but especially the last few days, I did a little more deeper dive into uh, how fat your fat cells are reciprocals for really bad things, uh, toxins and poisons and all the terrible things that come from highly processed foods and uh, really toxic plants. Um, and then as you, and then that terrible material, that toxic material stays within those fat cells. And then when you lose a lot of weight, especially rapidly, um, it releases all that toxins and poisons in your system and it, it, it uh, comes out in an array of symptoms like lymphedema and uh, neuropathy, which I have both. Um, and the last couple, two, three weeks, you know, it's um, a little more issues have popped up, but I'm working through them. But um, that's just something that uh, we're going to have to deal with when we spend so many years, like I did especially, I spent years and years abusing my body, just packing on the weight and packing on the weight. In my, like I said before, in my early to mid thirties is when I really started to pack on the pounds. Before then I was a perfect weight, you know, 210 pounds, you know, I'm 6'3", so 210, 220 was a really good weight for me. Uh, but then in my 30s, I really started to pack on the weight. And then for the next 20 years, I bloomed all the way up to 700 pounds and eating the worst, most highly processed food that you can imagine. I can't, I can't imagine how many thousands of bowls of cereal, uh, cinnamon toast crunch. And, you know, I was one of my great weaknesses. And uh, just all, all the super sugary, terrible, poisonous cereals. Uh, I ate thousands of bowls. Uh, ramen. I ate probably a million packs of ramen. Um, you know, that's just all super high processed white flour, uh, which is super high in carbs, which turns into sugars in your body. And then those seasoning packets is 100% just nasty preservatives. So the point being is that I spent 20 years packing my fat cells full of the worst, highest processed toxins and poisons <laughs> that, that you can get. And now losing 200 pounds in just over half a year, all that poison and toxins in my cells, fat cells, are being released. And uh, as they're flushing them out of my system, I'm dealing with uh, some symptoms. But that's uh, it's just a price that I have to pay for, you know, damaging my body for so long. But it's all right. It's, uh, it's a, like I said, it can be a bumpy road, but we just got to push through it. And there is a light at the end of the tunnel. If, if anyone else is uh, on a carnivore and losing a lot of weight like me and experiencing symptoms, don't let it discourage you. It is a natural part of the process. Like I just explained, we abuse our bodies and pack a full of junk. Then as we lose all that weight, the junk starts to come out um, and it can cause an array of symptoms, but they're temporary. Just remember they're temporary. And once we get through them, uh, we're, we're going to reclaim our life and reclaim our health. Um, and it's going to be an amazing, beautiful day. So anyway, uh, today's video is just pretty much like my other videos. You know, a little bit of working out. Um, I don't have a whole lot of new things. Well, 
Actually, if you guys remember uh, the problem I had with my septic a couple months back, I got all clogged and we had to have the septic guy come out. Uh, about a week and a half ago, same thing happened again. Same exact thing, flushed the toilet, my shower flooded. We had to have the septic guy come back out. They had trouble getting down in the hole again, but um, it all worked out like last time. Uh, and so everything seems to be going okay. But anyway, oh, yeah, I'm going to show you guys real quick the research I was doing on the fat cells and storing toxins. I found a couple really good uh, medical papers, you know, and just in the last six, seven years, they've really come to understand because of the breakthroughs in technology uh, in uh, the medical field, medical equipment like the microscopes and the just other medical equipment they have. They've really come to understand exactly how fat cells store different materials, the toxins being one of them, and how it affects the body. So really interesting reads. Uh, so I'm going to show you guys a little clip of that right now. This is from the National Library of Medicine. And it's titled uh, adipose. Now adipose is the medical term for fat cells. So adipose is fat cells. Adipose tissue as a site of toxic accumulation. And uh, and then it just goes into a deep dive. And it's, it's quite a long read. And then... Uh, this one is, again, National Library of Medicine. And it's titled Adipose. Remember, adipose is fat cells. Medical term of fat cells. Adipose tissue of physiology to metabolic dysfunction. Now, if you thought that other one I showed you before this was uh, in depth, this one, oh my goodness, this one goes very, very deep dive. Um, it's insane the amount of knowledge in in this uh, in this article. Um, it's a tough read. It's uh, it was like written by a very intelligent doctor for a doctor, for doctors, or medical students, anyway. Um, I sludged my way through it, barely. But uh, even if you read this and you come away with only 5%, 3% understanding of what you read, uh, you'll you'll still come away with a far greater knowledge um, of the role the fat cells play in our bodies, especially when you're overweight, and the, the destruction and the the ill health that it causes to your body, and especially really overweight, you know, you know, morbid obese like me, and then going to lose a lot of weight quickly. Um, it really helps you to understand what's going on in your body. But it's, uh, it's I highly recommend to just take a glance at this. And like I said, it's kind of a tough read, but uh, it is well worth it. Oh yeah, and there's even different types of fat cells, which I had no idea. You know, there's white, brown, beige, pink, and each one holds different types of material. Um, some good, you know, and a lot bad, depending on your diet and how bad your diet was. You know, obviously the worse your diet, the worse food, the worse highly, especially highly processed food, uh, the worse these things are going to be packed full of uh, not pleasant things, that's for sure. Um, but... Great read. I highly recommend it. I'm going to put links to these uh, in my description. So, yeah, those are some really in-depth, interesting reads. And like I said, uh, it's hard to understand most of it. <laughs> it's written in really uh, medical, technical uh, verbiage. But um, it's still, if you struggle through it, you'll come out the other end knowing a lot more than you did before. And basically, you know, the moral of the story is uh, if you abuse your body, and especially long term like I did, when you finally put your feet on the path to health and wellness, uh, the journey there can be a little bumpy because it's, it's just the price you pay. It's the price that we have to pay for all the years of abuse that we did. Um, but it's, it's very important to remember it's a natural part of the process. Uh, don't be discouraged by it. If you start having symptoms like I have, like I am and have been, uh, don't be discouraged. It's natural part of the healing process. Um, 
an analogy would be like getting a, a terrible wound, like a gunshot wound or a, a, a hatchet wound or something, you know, where you're really wounded. Uh, the healing process will take a long time and it'll be painful. Healing from serious injuries is uh, can be a very long, painful process. And it's the same way with abusing our bodies uh, with um, terrible food, highly processed, terrible, toxic food. Uh, the longer we abuse it and the worse we, that we abuse our bodies, the longer the healing process and the more bumps in the road we're going to experience while we go through that healing. But it's worth it. Don't let it discourage you. Um, there is an unbelievable light at the end of the tunnel once you put your feet to this path, eating the proper way and putting the proper fuel in our bodies. Um, so just pray for strength and just bear down and, and just go through whatever symptoms you may that may pop up from time to time. Because reaching that light at the end of the tunnel, reclaiming our health, is, is going to be so worth it. So worth it. Um, I promise. So let's get to, uh, to the rest of the video. Uh, oh, you know, I had a couple really pretty cool things happen. A couple days ago, I saw Daisy out the window, and he was crouched down in, like, predatory position, like he does when he sees a bird or a mouse. And I look out there, and uh, there's a moose go walking by, which hasn't happened in a while. We get moose that come by in the winter uh, kind of regularly, but I haven't seen one in a little while. So I grabbed my camera and uh, got a little bit of footage of them. And and I saw one of the most beautiful sunsets that I've seen, or not sunset, sunrise a few days ago. Just so brilliantly red, orange. It was, I haven't seen a sunrise like that, that beautiful in a long, long time. So I'll show you guys that. A uh, little bit of cooking stuff that I've cooked up or pot roast and a steak, I think. Um, oh, I was going through my pictures, my old pictures and videos a few days ago, and I came across, uh, the footage of when Carrie and Emma were here, uh, last July or August, last August, I think August 8th. Um, but I'm going to show you guys a little bit of that when they were in here and walking around and Carrie was filming. It was pretty cool. Um, but anyway, let, let's get to that stuff. But real quick, let's take a quick look at the sponsor of this video, Element. You know, since I started my YouTube channel about eight months ago, I've had so many people in the comments tell me how much they love Element, how much it really helps them along their health journey. And I completely agree. I mean, Element helps me tremendously on a daily basis. You know, Element is a really wonderful company. They're a health oriented company and they provide some of the best, highest quality electrolytes that you can find. Element comes in a variety of flavors and is all natural. It has zero gluten, zero preservatives, and zero sugars. Symptoms from electrolyte imbalance, <laughs> they're not pleasant. Uh, I've experienced most of them before I discovered Element. Uh, headache, chronic fatigue, uh, muscle cramps, big one for me, trouble sleeping, um, and those all went away when I started taking Element on a daily basis. As always, Element's offering a free eight serving, eight flavored sample pack with any size order that you make. Just go to drinklmnt.com forward slash Bill Nott and it'll take you to their great website. Order yours today. So it's Monday, the day uh, after Easter 2024. Just starting out my routine on my Life Pro Flex Stride. Rocking my hobo socks. You see, I got some duct tape on my one sock because of the uh, way too loose and keeps slipping down. I'm gonna keep this little workout section shorter than normal. You guys have, have already seen this. We've already been here and done that. 
so like I said before, this uh, Life Pro Flex Stride, just an amazing piece of equipment, um, has Bluetooth. And so it has a code right there. So you just take uh, your smartphone or your iPad, whatever you got, and uh, just ask Siri to scan it. Hey Siri, scan QR code. And it scans the code and automatically takes you to one of three apps you can choose from that you can download. And each app has different features and just makes a really incredibly interactive uh, device. Uh, there's so many different features to make your workout uh, more knowledgeable, much more information, and just all around fun. It's pretty darn cool. Two hundred in. Halfway there. What do you think, AJ? We're halfway home. They're really super cool. One size fits all remote for this just amazing, amazing uh, piece of gear right here. And we're off to the races. I tell you, this remote is so nice. It's so incredibly nice. You know, it doesn't matter how many times you use this machine, it's just the incredible good feeling. It, it never lessens. It, if anything, it gets even better. It's just miraculous. Just like my last video, I, I, how I mentioned in my last video, it's those of you who also bought this plate left comments and uh, it's just, it's changing people's lives. It is, I've never experienced a, a piece of machinery that was such a healing promoter as these vibration plates. If you have uh, neuropathy or lymphedema or leg, just leg cramps, leg pain, full body pain because you can stand up on these things. Uh, vibration is miraculous. It gives every muscle in your body a literal workout, actually down to a cellular level. It gives you a workout. Really amazing pieces of machinery. And like, uh, you know, like I said before, Life Pro, most amazing company with a full lifetime warranty. You can have this thing for 20 years, and if anything goes wrong with it, they'll they'll replace it. With, <clears throat> excuse me, replace it with a brand new one. No questions asked. It is a lifetime warranty. Oh boy, I needed this today too. Especially after using that bad boy, and that thing is just. That gives you a workout. It is an incredible. This I keep saying incredible and amazing, but uh, it is. And if you read the comments of other people who have Light Pro gear, unbelievable. You know, I cannot thank Todd Bachness from the Carnivore Cure Channel enough. He was the one original one who turned me on to the light plates. He knew I was suffering from terrible neuropathy, lymphedema, just agonizing leg pain, complete numbness. I was going to the hospital at the yeah, the hospital and the doctor several times. They couldn't find out anything what was wrong with me. But Todd reached out and uh, told me about these plates and it was literally changed my life. It took my pain from 100% down to into the, into the single digits and that is no exaggeration. I, uh, I, I couldn't imagine my life without these now and, and dealing with that pain that I had before. So this is my Easter dinner. I know it's kind of gross looking, <laughs> uh, but it's just hamburger and bacon. It's one of my two pound tubes of my grass fed hamburger which I normally cut into my uh, 
hockey pucks, my hamburger hockey pucks. But I just kept it, uh, kept the hamburger in the tube form, just a big old meat log. Uh, and I took a one pound pack of bacon, cut it in half and put a half on each side and just baked it at 350 until it was fully done. Boy, look at all that grease. That's from the bacon but and the hamburger. This is a hamburger from my, my side of beef, my half a cow. And I have them do a 70-30 mix. So it's very, uh, the hamburger is very high in fat. Just so delicious. But anyway, not super attractive. Well, it's kind of attractive to me because I know how delicious it's going to taste. But that's our Easter dinner. That's our Easter dinner, huh, Daisy? Yep. Today's food just came out of the air fryer, my Ninja air fryer, a beautiful Wagyu chuck roast, which is very rare to see Wagyu beef in the local stores up here. You gotta go to Anchorage to get any Wagyu meat, usually from Costco. But it was actually in the store, Jerry called me up. So I was like, yeah, dude, buy as, buy as much as you can. So, uh, so beautifully marbled, and just amazing beef. That is some beautiful looking chuck roast right there. Think about this Wagyu, normally you wouldn't cook a chuck roast medium rare like that, so much about 80% of it would be like shoe leather tough. But this Wagyu is a different story. This Wagyu chuck roast, it's like eating a steak. The whole thing is like eating a tender steak. It is really amazing. It's, uh... March 20th, 2024. The big old moose just goes, just went walking by. Eight AM. That's a cool looking shot right there. Wish I had my zoom camera on me right now. Come on now. I'm just gonna get a little bit more footage of my own here. Yeah, anything you want. <laughs> and zoom right in on Emma. Yeah. No, <laughs> She's used to it, trust me. Yeah. I'm gonna get just the room a little bit. It's Carrie I'm looking around my place. I see Daisy. Oh, I forgot. Oh. We gotta get Daisy on camera for sure. Should we go out and grab Daisy quick? Sure. He's he'll oh he'll be in. Goodness. So where does Daisy come through? Uh, there's he's got a little swinging door in the other room in there. That is so cool. If you walk in there and look to the left, you'll see it. Oh, Phil. Daisy. We have. Emma has a cat. You'll see it in the next video. Sweet Pea. Yeah. Coolest little cat. Oh, I love that name. Sweet Pea. Now awesome. we have another cat. Tiggs. Evil. Worst cat in the world. Hey, Tiggs is horrible. So Tiggs, Bill, Tiggs will come. He'll cry for hours to go outside. You'll let him outside. Every morning at 3 in the morning, he'll cry to come back in at 3 in the morning. And we should just put a door like that to let him back in. Yes. So this one's done. Uh, sitting here with Carrie and Emma. Carrie, how's it going so far? It's going amazing. I'm here with my brother from another mother, Bill, and his awesome cat, and Emma. How's it going, Emma? Good. How's Alaska? Amazing. So beautiful here with Bill and Daisy. It is beautiful beyond There's, the there's Daisy. Da Daisy's got a bigger fan club than me. So yeah. i got to make sure to get him in there. Daisy's a beautiful cat, too. What a... An angel. An angel. Emma's taking him. Sorry, Bill. No, I got Emma her cat. That's why. That's why I bought her that kitty. That was a gift this. from. Bill. There's Emma's Daisy. 
All right. You know, all through the week, I'm always thinking, you know, about shooting the video that you know, I have coming up, you know, the coming Tuesday. And I'm constantly thinking of things that I want to say, you know, topics and little words of wisdom, <laughs> you know, especially towards the end of what I say at the end of my videos. And I write down notes all the time, constantly writing down, oh, I want to say this, and oh, I want to say that, and things I feel inspired by. Um, but then when I turn that camera on, every single time, uh, it's, it all goes right out my head, and I just end up saying the same things over and over, and I never remember those things that I wrote down that I wanted to say. So this time, I was going through... Uh, like I said earlier in the video, I was going through my pictures and videos and I found a picture I took last summer of a really beautiful rainbow out my window here. And uh, I was looking at that picture. I'm like, you know what? And it just hit me. What if I wrote out, like overlaid uh, text on top of that picture, uh, the things that I want to say that I can never remember to say at the end of my videos. Um, I always fall back on them on the same things I always say. Anyway, uh, so I did. I took that picture and I typed out just some words of carrying on my heart that I wanted to say to anyone who might want to hear it or need to hear it. Um, so, and then read it out loud. So uh, here's that. We all know life is full of hardships and opposition especially when we're trying to make big changes in our lives, changes for ourselves and for our families. And that is when the adversary strikes and hammers us with fear, doubt, and confusion. God will never give us more than we can handle, although much of the time that's hard to believe and understand. But it's true. Remember, we are sons and daughters of an all-powerful God, which makes us very powerful, if we choose to be. For so many years, I chose not to be, but now I'm making the change. Remember to pray, ask for strength and protection, and keep your feet on the path. Do me a favor, the next time you're struggling with a personal weakness, change the word can't with choose not to you'll find it'll give it a whole new perspective all right well we're going to start to wrap this one up and for those of you who are on this journey with me this healing journey and there's a lot of you who've been following along the last few months um Stay strong. Realize that bumps in the road, hiccups, even big bumps, uh, it's all part of the healing process. It's natural. Don't let it discourage you. Stay strong and pray for help. Um, and just realize that there is an unbelievably bright light at the end of the tunnel, I promise you. Um, so stay strong and keep your feet on the path. Uh, repent, repent, repent and prepare, prepare, prepare. Let's be ready for uh, whatever may come our way so you and your families will be ready for whatever comes. Be kind to one another, forgive each other, and um, I love you guys, and I will see you in a week. The bottom of his climbing pole there is just full of junk and debris. Because uh, that's also his scratching pole. He just scratches on that thing like crazy. I run the Roomba about every two days. So that's only about a two days worth of buildup right there from all his scratching. My electric skillet got knocked over and it landed upside down and broke the handle. Now Daisy's really playing like crazy with that handle, with that broken piece of the handle. <laughs> You got a new toy, you got a new toy, Daisy.
Uh-oh, don't stick it under the rug. That guy is an expert at losing all his toys. You're an expert at losing your toys, Diggy. You can do it. Come on, you gotta knock it out of there. Oh no. <laughs> you did it. Oh no, not back under there again. There you go. Daisy, you're a genius. You are an utter genius, Daisy. You all done with your new toy already? You all done with your new toy? 